All right, hello and welcome to getting ready for the test. We are gonna do three problems and I would like you to write the problem down, come push pause on my video, complete the problem, and then check with my video to see if you agree with the same answer that I chose. So the problem is 151 times six. There are no decimals in this problem at all. I would like to see if you can do both methods of this problem. You can draw the lines either way, but at this point you should hit pause, complete the work as if this were your test, and then push play to check and see that your answers match my answers. Six times one is six, six times five is 30. Six times one is six, seven, eight, nine. 151, 151 times six. Again, you could write this One fifty one times six, and put your answers this direction as well. Six hundred six times five is thirty plus my zero, three hundred and six. When I add six hundred plus three hundred plus six. I get 906. Second problem. Forty eight times four point five. At this point, you should stop the video and complete this work. Please make sure that your answer matches my answer. Forty eight times four point five. Forty eight times forty five. Four times four is sixteen, and my two zeros. Four times eight is 32, and I have one zero. Five times 40 is 220, and then my zero. Five times eight is 40. 1,600 plus 320 gives me a total of 1,920. 200 plus 40 gives me a total of 240. Then I'm going to add both of these numbers together. 0 and 0, 0. 2 and 4 is 6. 9 and 2 is 11 plus 1 more. 2,160. However, I have one number, so I need to go over one spot. So then when you put in this answer, you would just write 216. You don't need the decimal point because it's 0, .0 and 0 doesn't ever need to stay there. 
It is still correct if you leave it there. It means the same thing. Let's try and multiply it out. 5 times 8 is 40. Put down my 0, carry my 4. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24. Placeholder, 4 times 8. And remember, I like to cross these numbers off. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 more. 17, 18, 19. 0 and 0 is 0. 2 and 4 is 6. 9 and 2 is 11. Carry my 1. 1 and 1 is 2. Remember, this was my plus sign. Again, one number over for my decimal point, 216 is your final answer for number two. And also notice 1920 matches 1920. 240 matches 240. Question three. Sixteen point five times eighteen. At this point, you should hit pause on the video, complete this on paper, and then check yourself to make sure that you are correct. 16.5 times 18, 165, 10, and 8, 8. I hope that you paused yourself to check and make sure that you are correct. Eight times five is 40. Eight times six is 48. Plus four is 52. Eight times one is eight. Plus five is 13. One times five is five. One times six is six. One times one is one. Two and four is seven, three and six is nine, one and one is two. One number over. Your final answer is 297. One times one is one, one, two, three zeros. One times six and six, two zeros. 10 times five or one times five with one zero. 1,000 plus 600 plus 50 gives me a grand total of 1,650. 8 times 100 is 800. 8 times 6 is 48 plus my 0. 8 times 5 is 40. 800 plus 480 plus 40. 8 and 4 is 12, carry my 1, 12, 13, 13, 20. Now, I can see right away 13, 20, 13, 20, 16, 50, 16, 50. I can see that these are matching up right away, so I am probably on the right track here. 13, 20 plus 16, 50, 7, 9, 2, over one place, because in my problem, I have over one place, 297. All right, hopefully this helps. There are just three problems as promised. 
Um, I encourage you to make sure that you go back through and try these out.